that hay go into cattle pasture? There'll be more moose sign than the cattle. Like that. Well, you might wonder why we're popping so much popcorn, but it's uh, mid-April. Snow is finally starting to melt here, and it's uh, bear season starts on Monday, Friday. So we're popping all this popcorn, eating as much as we pop, and uh, hopefully get our baits out next weekend. As long as the weather cooperates, we've had some warm weather, and then followed with a lot of cold weather again. So get making all this popcorn. Hopefully, uh, hopefully get her out soon and uh, start feeding these bears. <laughs> it's uh, April 26th, Monday, it's about 9 o'clock. Uh, we're just headed to Calgen Egg Services this morning to pick up uh, some more supplies for the bear bait. And then uh, we've got about three baits set out today. Should be a long day, but should be a fun day. It's good to finally get out there. The snow's finally cleared and uh, stay tuned. Calgen Ag Services, we started uh, six years ago. We're the master feeds dealer in town. And uh, we're here to provide uh, bagged feed uh, for all types of animal types. Uh, of course, the cattle market, uh, but as well the uh, hobby market, horses, sheep, goats, and uh, of course, some of our wild friends need some, some help out there too. So. We're more than happy to uh, help out uh, all the guys out there uh, doing some hunting and, and uh, working with the outdoors and, and we look forward to many more years of being here in town. Uh, got about three baits set out today. Should be a long day, but should be a fun day. It's good to finally get out there. The snow's finally cleared, and uh, stay tuned. set up our first bait here for the year. Uh, we got a couple beavers hanging in the trees, some oats we picked up from Calgent this morning, uh, popcorn that we made last weekend, and uh, a bunch of grease. It smells pretty pretty yummy around here so finished off this one and head out to the next one right now. We got one of three done. Get at her. Let's do it. Here we are, just got site for bait number two picked out. Came back to the trucks, loaded up with all the goodies for the bears. Now we're just chopping everything down, head back in, get her set up. We're here at our second bait. We got uh, popcorn, oats, beaver, some grease here we got grease and oats in here pretty much your go-to for bear hunting it's always worked for us good we got beavers hanging in the trees to get the scent out and uh, we're trying something new this year code blue beaver magnet code blue bear magnet and uh, really potent stuff that's all you can smell at the bait the beavers are in the trees scents carrying and this stuff I think is really gonna do the trick so hopefully it works good for us this year and it's not beaver magnet it's bear magnet <laughs> we're not hunting beavers. Yeah. Although if we were, 
we'd have beaver magnets. Yeah, <laughs> we would have full blue beaver magnets. We'd have beaver <laughs> magnets everywhere. Well, we just got into our third bait of the day. This bait's already established. It's the one we hunted at last year. The one that Dusty shot his bear at and then Reed shot his bear at. So barrels are already on, as you can see. We just gotta fill them up now. Well, as you guys seen, we got our three baits set up for the spring bear season. We uh, started, once we started patterning them, we went in, I think the first night was May 9th, I went in and uh, had no action and then went back in on the 11th by myself. Dusty had come with me the first night. We went on the 11th uh, and it was a complete opposite night. It was just, just awesome. Yeah. Uh -huh.